Hi, I'm Claudia, and I'm back for our second Ask Claudia. Today's is, what kind of work do I use for tapestry weaving? There are a variety of options, but let me first tell you what makes good tapestry work. A good tapestry warp has to be really strong. It should not break easily between your hands. The warp is your canvas. It is really important that it be high quality and that it not break as you're weaving. So I will show you which warps um, are best for tapestry and then I'm gonna show you a warp that's actually good for rugs. But let us start with um, Sane Twine. Sane Twine was originally used to make fishing nets. I don't know if they still do it or if they've gotten into some plastic or whatever. Uh, we sell it in two different sizes, 12.9, which is thicker, and 12.6, which is thinner. Sane Twine is so strong. Example, cannot, cannot, cannot break it between my hands, okay? So if you're, this is a generally a great warp. And what we've done is we've put them on 100 yard cards. And the reason we've done that is it's very hard to warp with a big thing like this on a Mirax loom. It's a lot easier to have a small card. And the great thing about the Mirax loom is if you run out of warp and you tie it off, you can just tie on again and keep going. So it's not a big deal. This is another same coin. This one's black. I just love using black sometimes, especially if I let the fringe show or, I don't know, I just, I, I'm into black warp sometimes, so. Black, same twine, wonderful stuff. Okay, let's go down a notch. This is Maysville carpet warp, and really it's good for carpets, and it's good for placemats and stuff like that. Um, it's not the highest quality warp. Um, it's not gonna break on you, most likely, but, So hey, passed the break test. It's a, it's a less expensive than Sane Twine, comes on a smaller put up set. Um, this is okay for tapestry too, and rugs. So speaking of rugs, a long time ago, I had a friend who was a weaver. I have lots of friends who are weavers, but this was a person who was weaving placemats for a restaurant. And this is the warp she chose. And she chose fabric that she ripped up um, to make the placements that were in reds and purples and gorgeous. Anyhow, I bought whatever she had left over. I wound up with this gorgeous warp and, and the fabric. Uh, and I made these beautiful placemats. This is so gorgeous. And I don't even know. It's not Saint Twine. And it's not Maisel Carpet Warp. It's, I don't even know where she got it or what it is or if I could ever get it again. So I've been hoarding it. <laughs> so I don't want to use it up. It's really gorgeous colors. I love it. <gasps> wool Warp. Yes, we have Warp and Wool. The Navajos can weave on Wool Warp. In fact, <clears throat> we used to sell Navajo Wool Warp, but it is not made by the company that used to make it. They don't make it anymore. So we have moved into brown sheep warp. This is single ply. It of all our warps is probably the least strong, but it, it's still it's still great stuff. It's just not quite as strong as the same twine, which you can see I can't even break on my hands. Uh, wool is fun to use as warp because it mixes well. If you're using weft that's wool, they combine and they grab each other, and it's kind of nice. So I do like using wool sometimes. I think it's fun. And it's easy on your fingers because it's kind of stretchy. Speaking of something that's not easy on your fingers, linen. Also entirely unbreakable. Linen has almost no stretch. And using it on a, when I used to use it on my huge tapestry arlums, and you have to tie on bundles, and it was so impossible to get tension even. The great thing about using linen on the Mirix loom is that it's a continuous warp and your tension is going to be perfect. So it really works well with linen. Linen does not have a lot of give, as I said, so it's harder on your fingers. The final product made out of linen, though, is extraordinary. I, it's just, it, it just has a different feel than tapestries made on other, other warps. Um, I don't think we're carrying linen right now, but you know what? I've just decided we're going to start carrying it again, and we'll probably be putting it... We're, we're, the linen that we were getting came on big cones, and we'll probably be spinning them off into cards as well to make it much easier to work with. Linen. We're going to be getting it soon. 
Something that's similar to linen, hemp. Um, again, it's got no stretch whatsoever. It's really fun to use though. Um, hemp, linen, kind of the same difference as far as I'm concerned. Although I guess if I had a choice, I might go with linen. I'm not sure, I haven't decided that yet. And last but not least, something you can probably never find because I've never found it again. I got this at Convergence so many years ago, I'm not gonna tell you how many, and this gentleman was selling it, and I sold his last three tubes. I think I have one or two left. I've been hoarding it for years. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's mohair. It's really, really impossible to break, and just stunning. I, I, I don't wanna use it because I like to look at it and feel it. It's so gorgeous. That is Tapestry Warp. I hope you've taken notes. <laughs> Um, just remember, I mean, just go back to the basics. Your warp is your canvas and it's best to invest in it and not cheap out because if your warp thread breaks, it makes you really sad. They're fixable, but it makes you really sad. I will see you next time. Have a great day.